What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Reverse Engineers series. Uh, today we're going to be doing, or we're going to be reverse engineering the Jaxa Watatsumi. I still hope I'm saying that right. Really, really not sure. Um, so this is a very interesting ship, but it, I, I should point out for those of you that were not familiar with the inspiration episode last week that featured it um that it is a heavily modded ship and thus there are some things that are going to be a little bit difficult to um point out without doing mods like you're going to have a hard time replicating the same kind of thing um in a vanilla environment so just keep that in mind kind of like the thrusters weapons uh, some of the plants things like that they're cool designs and stuff, but some of it's just because there's mods involved. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so the first thing I want to point out is this cool uh, ring-like structure that I noticed goes pretty much all the way across the bottom of this ship, with a few exceptions where the uh, fighter hangers, I think that's what those are for, are. Um, and again, some of this works because of some modded thrusters, but you could implement the same kind of structure anyway. Um, so we have this area here that kind of goes along the side. It blends in a little bit when you get further towards the back, but then shows back up again. Um, and essentially, it's mostly just slopes. If I can get in here and see. So we've got regular slopes and regular blocks uh, that kind of create this pillar-like shape. Then when we go down here, we have a thruster that's facing out to the right and a angled thruster that's facing down. So the angled thruster kind of matches the shape, which makes it look a little bit better, as well as adds the backplate type thing here, which you wouldn't normally get in vanilla. So again, kind of hard to replicate it um, but essentially it's just the regular slopes to the light armor uh, two by one corner uh, yeah I guess it's two by one corners the the base and the tip and then they're using the back plate of the thruster to kind of complete the shape and adding a light to it the thing I think is cool about this is then on some of these instances this is a good example it doesn't use the light, but instead kind of blends into this circular shape, this ring, which is fairly interesting. So what they're doing here is on the back to create a more shallow angle, they're using the two by one slopes um, to a base that then connects to a solid block. But on the outer edge, they're using a regular slope to a standard block and then using a two by one slope to the solid so it kind of creates a more rounded look which is pretty cool and like i said this is kind of used throughout the ship here as um kind of like a structure point i suppose that it's not really serving any purpose other than visual uh but it adds kind of this structural where these guns might be mounted to where it connects to all that kind of stuff it makes it look a little bit cooler in the case of this weapon area, the middle block is actually missing and it's replaced with one of these modded pipes, but you could put a conveyor uh, tube and then put conveyors here in the middle and then connect up turrets or whatever you wanted to do. Um, but it's an interesting, it's an interesting structural design thing that I think is pretty neat. All right, so the next thing I wanted to point out is I think this is using, this part here is using modified ramps, uh, armor ramp mods. The rest of this I think can be done with the regular vanilla ramps. Uh, this outer edge though would not be able to. Uh, well, no, I don't think you could out here. Yeah, because that's a half split, so that's a modded, a modded ramp that's connecting these two shapes. You could do it, but it wouldn't look quite as smooth. Uh, but the real part I wanted to point out is this section in here, that if you'll notice along the side with all these bombardment cannons, you've got these almost like dividers that run along the, the edge of the ship. And the thing I think is coolest about this is it runs into window-like shapes in certain areas. That one actually looked like it was missing one. 
It is missing one. I wonder if this leads to an airlock. I did not explore this area as thoroughly in my inspiration episode as I probably should have, apparently. Oh, this doesn't lead anywhere, really. So it's just a an external area. Um, but yeah, there's probably supposed to be a window there. But I like this kind of shape that leads to window sections and stuff like that. Uh, it looks like they just went with some color stripes here instead of using one of the dividers, probably for space. But um, again, it's fairly simple. It starts back here. So we've got half slopes that connect to armor two by one tips. Um, so we're skipping the base. And then up here at the base, we have an inverted corner base on both sides and standard blocks in the middle. And then that basically just staggers. It goes to the uh, the 2x1 corners and the inverted corners on the sides all the way down with ramps, it looks like, in the middle. 2x1 ramps. Uh, and it basically comes down to the edge here. And in certain instances, like this one, uh, then uses a light armored corner and a regular slope and a regular block, it looks like. Yeah. And that kind of just rounds out the shape. And then they bring it down to an inverted corner and regular block with a spotlight. But I thought this kind of shape was cool. Uh, that it gave it almost like this wing effect, but then at the edge you could actually put windows so that you could see. And if this were an interior area, you could always use glass. Or, or something to that effect. So I thought that was a pretty neat idea. As for the exterior, I don't have too many other points to make on this. A lot of this, this one's kind of different. Um, rather than trying to put like the dividers had where it has something in the middle, this one just makes use of two back-to-back -back, uh, two by one corners and walks them down with um, alternating inverted to regular corners. And it makes this kind of pylon or, or angled arm kind of shape. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, this is an interesting design as well on the center to give it a little bit of depth. Again, you can't really do this without the um, modified armor ramps. You could do something similar, but it won't, you know, it won't be this exact shape. But uh, this being the two by one ramps and a block in the middle kind of gives it a little bit of a beveled shape on the top. So that's kind of interesting if you're looking to add a little bit more detail to a ship rather than it just being like flat. Uh, the back end here though would be a little tricky to pull off without mods, so bear that in mind. I've also seen, I'm also seeing a lot of this as well. Uh, this connects to those slopes we saw earlier that it uses the inverted and the corners and the slopes and then kind of alternates them and creates this kind of... Uh, they're basically end caps to the rest of the pillars that we saw looking at the thrusters down here, it looks like. They're basically followed up through the middle and that's where you get these shapes. So they're basically an end cap to that design. Uh, but it's an interesting idea to add a little bit more depth and detail to it if you were looking for something a little bit... Um, like if you're looking for places to put your chain gun turrets or something like that, it's an interesting way to give them little uh, pedestals almost. So that's kind of cool. But again, as for the exterior, I don't really see too much else that really draws my eye. The, the ship overall is really well done and it looks really cool, but in terms of actual building technique, I don't really see too much else that I feel needs explaining. So we're going to go ahead and move toward the interior, I think. All right. So in the interior, there's a couple of interesting things I want to point out. First of all, I really, really like the use of these plants inside inside the, the space. I think that's really cool. Um, why I can't jump over there, I don't know, because there's no glass unless it's... There we go. Unless these things actually have stopping collision boxes. I guess they do. Um, so I do like the plants everywhere. I think that's really cool, but obviously they would need to be used uh, with a mod because they're not in the game base vanilla stuff. So that's obviously not really very doable without mods. However, the thing that I think is kind of intriguing 
is the fact that this is all open but sealable. That's what I think is interesting about this. Now this looks like it's using uh, half slope, which is an, a, another interesting t uh, detail to add to this to give it kind of this inset pillar look. It's not out here on the outer edge of the block, it's more on the inside. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but basically the thing I thought was interesting about this was putting all of the uh, airtight hanger doors here and then putting a railing or something here to keep everything within the frame so nothing is actually in the um, nothing is actually in the air block or uh, the airtight hanger doors space. So that's kind of an interesting touch. Um, let's see what does this do? Oh, that's the lights. I was looking for the button so we could actually see that in action, but I guess there isn't a toggle for that, or at least not that I'm seeing. That's just turning lights on and off. Uh, what about this? Maybe is it here? Nope, that's lights. Okay, so there's no manual toggle, it looks like, for the, uh, the doors. It's probably done through some kind of red alert state in the scripts. Uh, the other thing that's cool is this is also sealed. So it allows for you to have a lot of windows like this. We've got windows there, we've got a skylight there, uh, which makes this, the ship feel a lot more like, uh, I don't know, I kind of get the flying condo feel from the inside. It feels like it's more of an apartment or something on the interior. Uh, probably also added by the plants and all that kind of stuff. Um, but then in an emergency, all of these can shut. Let me see if I can actually find uh, whether there's a way to manually override them. Let's just try this. Um, nope. I guess that's not going to work. That's the hangar bay. So anyways, uh, you guys can figure out what that'll look like. But basically it's just using the... Uh, looks like a base corner. A 2 by one Inverted... Oh, okay, that might be a... That might be a mod, because it's a light armor inverted corner tip. No? I think that is actually a thing. Let me grab, uh, where's the inverted ones? I guess, oh, no, I saw them. Sorry. They're there. So if we do this, nope, okay, it's not a mod. Perfect. So, you, it's using the inverted corner there and then the regular tips and circumventing the base blocks and it creates this kind of cool shape. Now they did put the lights here but you could keep the shape running otherwise and go all around the room or something similar. Why this passageway thing is here I don't really know. I thought at first it would connect to something or might be an air vent but uh, it doesn't so I don't really know why that's there other than just decoration but I thought that was a pretty cool touch uh, to, and, and it's actually something you can see throughout the whole ship. There's a lot of these areas with uh, windows that are basically sealable, which I thought was really neat. Um, and here's another example of kind of that basically aesthetic touch, but not really serving a purpose, is using these inverted or upside down catwalks as almost like a, I don't know, uh, kind of like just a channel connected to what looks like the tips of a 2 by one ramp. So that's a pretty cool idea, and it also connects to a conveyor system. So this is covering a conveyor system, uh, and it connects to a modded air vent, so you could put a vanilla air vent there as well. But this is an interesting idea if you want to cover up a conveyor um, tunnel or a tube or something like that. It gives it a little bit of depth and um, something a little less than just looking like a pipe kind of thing. Um, I also really like this. This uh, glass flooring idea is pretty cool in my opinion. And then it uses the slope glass to kind of make for a wall or a gradual taper, I guess. But I really like this, that it allows you to see all of the reactor stuff and everything. Um, and you can see the jump drives down here. You can see... I think those are either modded reactors or gyroscopes or efficiency modules or shields or something. I'm not sure, but they're definitely a mod. Um, 
So yeah, that's a kind of a cool technique to do as well is your engineering room or something like that and then putting it uh, in a, a glass walkway. Now what all these lights are coming from, I'm not entirely sure other than maybe this guy, but I don't know why it's showing up everywhere. Um, kind of a cool effect, but I'm not sure that it's supposed to do that or not. Uh, but yeah, so this is an interesting way to do things. I really like that. Uh, let's see what else. This would be down in the hangar here for your fighters and whatnot. I do like the shape of this, and they didn't use um, blast door blocks to change up the texture or height. They just recolored them, so we have kind of a texture pattern. It's a simple and easy way to add a little bit more detail is just do some kind of pattern in your painting. Uh, but I really like these pillars that then have an LCD screen with like a logo on them. I think that's really, really cool. It reminds me of an old school um, either a ship or a banquet hall or something like medieval that would have banners and stuff hanging. Kind of what it reminds me of. I think that's a really cool touch. I like it. It also is concealing timer blocks, by the way, by the looks of things. Yeah. Um, now I also like this. What they did here, it looks like, is use... This is full block, this is half block. So they used, um... A sl we've seen this a lot lately where they'll use a tip coming off of a full block um, instead of a base they'll use a tip and then do a half block and it gives this illusion that this is actually sticking out when in actuality this is setting in to the wall so that's a really cool way of doing a uh, a little bit of less of a pronounced angle if you did something like a full slope and then had a block um, a full block set in it would be further back and the taper would be far more drastic so it would make the pillars look like they're a lot bigger so this is a cool way of doing a a little bit less a little more subtle kind of one and then we've got the inverted ones over here that continue this shape along the edge and along the top but then the top leads into this kind of um, I don't know what I what you would call this, but kind of a, um, I guess like a bubbled. It's just kind of, it's just kind of elevated, type of thing. Uh, so that's a pretty cool way of blending a lot of different techniques together in different shapes. We keep the shape down here. We cut it off with the vents here, but we still keep this going around. So it's kind of cool, kind of interesting how they did all that, and kept everything kind of somewhat connected. Um, and then obviously we have the hangers. We have a similar shape going on here to give it a little bit more depth. Um, and then I do like this mod pack for uh, the for the consoles. It, it's really easy to make a lot of these like winding, curving consoles. Again, you can't really do that with vanilla that easily. I'm sure I've kind of gotten to where I don't say anything can't be done, but it would be kind of tricky to do it this way without um, without a mod like that. But it does have a pretty cool result. All right, so let's move up to the top layer again. You know what? This might actually be nope. More lights. Everything is lights. Um, and I didn't mention it before, but also we have a glass walkway here, which. I'm a, f I'm a fan of glass walkways and stuff like that where you're all, you're able to see stuff, but then it's not really accessible either. Uh, this is pretty cool as well. So this is the stateroom side of thing. Again, we're seeing this where we've got uh, glass with a blast, not a blast door, but an airtight hangar door, which is a pretty good alternative to a blast door if you need something that's extendable and retractable type of thing. Uh, and again, we've got a view up here that can be sealed. I really, really like that about this ship, that they have a lot of windows, but rather than compromising structural integrity, they decided to actually have like a double layer where everything is sealable. I really, really like that. Um, and again, we've got a really detailed interior, but it's because of the mods. We have a air vent down here that is kind of set in, so it's not to take up any floor space. I like that. Um, and I'm not really sure if this is more of an RP, like if this is supposed to be a shower or if, or if it's just for texturing the wall since there's a shower over there, I just noticed. But I do like the, the screens up on the wall. I think it's kind of cool. 
And if I recall, all the state rooms are kind of the same, so let's move to the bridge. Again, control of the lights. We can just, <coughs> excuse me, we can see this up here. This may be to conceal um, a conveyor system. That might be what those passageways up there are for. It might be kind of the similar to the using the catwalks. Um, and again, up here on the bridge, we have another instance of this guy, <coughs> this kind of like framing going on where we've got plants and stuff like that. And then we have the airtight hangers all around that keep everything nice and sealed in, which is pretty cool. We've got catwalks here on the outer edge to cover it up. Now this is an interesting technique. This is really cool actually. I've always wondered about how to do this because there's no court, uh, slope catwalk. There's only the, um, the windows or glass or slopes like that. But it doesn't always set up the proper shape that you're looking for. So this is pretty cool. What it's doing is we've got a, uh, the catwalks here and then a slope that bridges the catwalk, but then instead of going up with full blocks to add a little bit more depth, texture, that kind of thing to make it look like there's a little bit more different elevations, this is actually using a half slope. So it looks like the column is still mounted to a floor panel type of thing. So I really like that. That's kind of, that's a really cool touch. Um, and once again, like I said, we've got all the glass stuff which is really neat. I like it. Now, some of this glass looks modded. Nope, that's one by twos. It's one by twos. I think that's all vanilla. I think you can do all that. Uh, using the two by one ramps and slopes to connect to these a little bit more oddly shaped glass is a smart move. Um, then this is using a regular ramp for a little bit more, I guess, texture, because they have a little bit of a different texture to them than the slopes do. Or, I mean, the two by one base slopes and ramps and stuff. Um, but yeah, I like all that. Again, we have a vertical sealed area, really like that. This is pretty cool. Uh, in order to get some small detail work into the console, we're using, uh, that's using a uh, conversion, which for those of you that don't know, uh, let me turn off mirror mode so we keep one of them. I'll go ahead and break this a little bit, hopefully without ruining anything entirely. Can I not get to that rotor head, I guess? There we go. Alright, so we'll basically break this one down and then we'll look at the right side for the finished result. Uh, but essentially what this is, is it's a large rotor. I'm showing this, I, I showed it in one of my inspiration episodes, but for those of you that hadn't seen it or are just tuning in, this is kind of how you do this. This is a really cool trick, and I personally have tried to use it more because it's very, very useful to keep everything nice and in the same grid size. So it's a large rotor with a small rotor head, and you bring a solid block up from that rotor head. Uh, I don't remember, I don't recall if you have to adjust the displacement or if you can leave it as is, but you can probably just eyeball it and, and figure it out. But you do a 3x3 three three pattern with standard block and then do a 5x5 five five around with these blast door edges. And what this does is it transitions from a large to a small grid so that you can do stuff like this and have a lot of little screens and detail, but it keeps everything in the same pattern. Uh, for example, it, now the rotor wasn't entirely necessary here unless they were using some kind of uh, rotating functionality where it would spin out of the way. I don't believe. You could do just a standard block there, I think. It may have been done to adjust the centering to, to make sure it was centered on the chair. Not really sure. It might have just been a user preference. I can't really see a reason why else you would need that. Uh, but then all they did was do kind of a circular pattern with the rounded blocks, came up with a slope, mounted a programmable block there, a rotor, and then went back to the rounded for this, and then I believe slopes, or actually two by one ramps ramp tips with a programmable block on the back. So again, there may have been some functionality to have it rotate somewhere or, or something like that, or it might have been so it was centered. 
uh, but it's a really, really cool technique. I've I've seen it used to great effects enough that I'm trying to use it more in my own builds. Uh, but it's a really, really cool way if you want to add a little bit more detail, but you're working with a large grid ship or station, but an area needs more refined details, you can do one of these transitions. And from a distance, it doesn't really look that noticeable or bad or anything like that. Uh, and it keeps everything in the in the same grid to where if you were to move it all over the place and come down to another block, uh, you can probably find the center of another large grid block and do another transition to connect it all up. So it's, it's a fairly useful technique. It's really, really cool. Uh, with that, I think that's about all I really wanted to point out on this ship for kind of dissecting it. Um, I think anything else would probably just be pointing out more examples of the same techniques. I don't really see anything different from that. So with that, I think we're going to wrap things up for this episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.